Uh oh. What did old Toe Ricker get for get for Christmas? So um, this right here is something that was probably the best gift I got. This is enough to made a grown man cry, basically. Uh, my mom spent a lot of time on putting this together, and there's several family members on here that's no longer with us, and this, that, and the other. So, you know, I'm just going to go around this and kind of, I guess, tell you a little bit about me and show you a little bit of my past, uh, you know. But you get here, you've got, um, you know, of course, you've got me, there's my dad, and there's my mom, that's years ago. There's my great grandmother and me. There's me and my mom back in, that's probably about 85, I guess. My grandma, about the same time. That's my mother's mother. And there's my dad and his prized possessions. You've probably seen that car lurking around in some videos. Still got it, bought it new. 74 Comet GD. There's my granddad. He passed away in 1990. That was my dad's dad. That's me, of course. There's my granddad that was in uh, the very late 80s and my grandma. There's my papa, my mom's dad, and me. My mom's mom and me again. There's my dad and his car again. There's me and my mom at Rock City. That's what Lookout Mountain where you can see, what, seven states or something. There's uh, my mom's mom and dad. There's me and Ronald Reagan. There's my mom and me again. There's me and my grandma and grandpa. Me and my mom again. There's the first family picture from when I was born. Look how little I was. When I an ugly little kid. Yep, I was. My mom's dad and my papa again. There's my merry-go-round. Still have it. My grandpa, this man right here, built this. Um, built this from scratch. And there's a wagon right here. It's got my name on the side. It says Jason Christopher, and on the back of it says Papa Built. This thing's built out of quarter-inch thick plate steel. You're talking about an awesome little red wagon. Um, I don't think 15 kids and a stick of dynamite could hurt that wagon. Um, there's uh, my first birthday. My first birthday cake right there. You can see the one. There's me and my mom and my dad. There's my 50 Ford. Yep, still got it. You didn't see anything familiar in that picture. Let me zoom in. Did you see that? You've seen that truck before, ain't you? Yeah. Anyway, it was a whole lot newer then. There's me and my mom. Notice my truck. You see the door panel. You see the blue. You see it? You can see the mirror there where he broke the glass out of it. But anyway, see, I've always been fond of that old truck. Can you tell? See, I was always fond of that old truck, but anyway, get into the more recent times here, a few. I tell you, it's a little embarrassing thing about me. That poor little dog, um, his name was Napper. He used to have a little voice box that said, my name is Napper. Anyway, he got the nickname as Fuzzball. Notice that he has, whoa, come back here. Notice he has no fur. See, that poor dog still exists and has absolutely no fur. There's a little bit on his butt now, but what you see there, it's gone. Um, there was me, that was after the, what are you going to call it, baby contest or whatever at the fair 100 years ago. There's my dad and my grandma, my dad's mom, get it to focus there. And there's the whole Belt family, I think that's, um, I think that's everybody. Maybe somebody missing, I don't think, I can't remember, I think everybody was there. But anyway, like I said, that's, that's the best, uh, the best gift let me get up out of the floor. This is a huge picture. As you can tell, it's a monstrosity. It's huge. But that was my best Christmas gift I got. And we got some Mater parts here. This is a glove box. I've got some more. There's another box. There's a new stainless gas cap. I think it's what's in that box. Let's see. Yep, stainless gas cap. Better remove the sticker. Who wants to know? Yeah, I think I got enough sense to know if I take the gas cap off, I'm gonna get a face full of gas. If any pressure on it's a vented gas cap anyway. Come on. We got a new shifter boot, which is kind of like optional equipment on uh, those trucks. Some had, some didn't. Uh, mine's fixing to have it. 
there's the foam seal that goes on top of the transmission between it and the floor. Um, you would think that with shifter boots you wouldn't need this. You're talking about cutting a lot of noise down. It's quieting those trucks down and mine's completely missing. Let's see. These are sweet. Brand new stainless steel wiper arms. Oh yeah, wiper arms. We've got to get, uh, I've got to get the actual reproduction trico stainless blades for them. Let's see. Oh yeah. Remember this deal? Brand new. Oh yeah, brand new. Let's see, there's another wiper arm. There's a vent window handle. One of mine is actually, I don't know if you can see it. You can see right there. See that right, hole right here where the roll pin goes through? Mine is busted right there. And it, in relation, it fell off. So I'm going to reinstall this. It's real simple. There's a roll pin floating around that bag in the wave washer. You know, it goes on there. The wave washer goes on, and then the handle, and then there's the roll pin. The roll pin goes down through the handle and holds it on. What else is in here? Oh, yeah. This stuff, if you've never seen this used, I have to show you. It's a cork tape. It's called glass setting tape is what it's for. You take this and you put it in the regulator and then you put the window glasses down in it and you trim the excess. It's sticky and it's cork and it just kind of compression fits. It's not real, real sticky. I've not messed with this stuff in years, but it's got a little bit of little bit of stick to it. It's not, like I said, real sticky. It's more grippy than it is sticky, but it's some it's some neat stuff to deal with. Got a little bit of stick to it, just enough to hold it in, but it compression fits the glass, and that way when you roll your window down, your window don't stay in the up position and your regulator go down. My driver's side seems to do pretty good. The passenger side, you can sometimes roll the window down and the window don't go down, but the handle turns. Well, your regulator goes down and you take your hand and push on the window and it goes down, so we got to remedy that. that. That happened after I put the new... Um, window felts and stuff in it just put tension on it but anyway that's a little bit of this there's a whole lot more there's a whole lot more parts and pieces to come for that but this is just the first pile that I grabbed and um, you know other than that I'm not real sure where everything else is oh yeah got the second one I've never seen it and I got this. Oh yeah, we got this Hitachi 12 volt lithium ion. It's a um, little impact driver and a drill and a light. Apparently, I think the light was a bonus. The kit that I actually seen that I liked didn't have the light, but she said it was on sale and came with a light. So anyway, we got a light. But these things are awesome. The Hitachis are made in the U.S. And I've used one. They are they are a quality tool. They really are. Been made in the U.S. amazed me. Um, so you know, actually, they said it was made in the U.S. The tool that I used said it was made in the U.S. But look what I found. Made in China. Huh. Uh, the one the father-in-law's got is made in the U.S. and it's the exact same thing. Hmm. Look at this box. We might. <laughs> We might have problems. Oh, we'll let's find out. Got a big hole in it. But anyway, that's what uh, old tow wrecker got for um, got for Christmas. He got a few other things, but that's that's what's notable. So, oh, and uh, I'll let you go with this one. I'll let you go with my new shirt here. Let's see, get it unfolded here. It's a very true state. Very true statement. Right here. God doesn't like you. He loves you. So, keep that in mind. Here's you something to read. Go read. Good for you. Never hurt you. But I really like his shirt. That that was a good one. I liked that one when I seen it. And Mrs. Toe Wrecker remembered I liked it. So she went and got it. But, yeah, I like that one. It gets attention, I tell you. But very few people would actually stop and read it. And you can. Let me get it right here. A few piles of screen. You can read what the shirt says. See y'all.